Hello and welcome to ABC News, I'm Ros Childs. The fallout from the Liberal leadership turmoil continues with more women confirming they felt bullied and intimidated by colleagues. The Minister for Women, Kelly O'Dwyer, says some MPs were subject to threats and intimidation as pressure was applied to win their support. Scott Morrison says he's taking advice on how to deal with the claims, but some are planning to take matters into their own hands by naming and shaming their colleagues. From Canberra, political reporter Henry Bello. A Prime Minister keen to move on from a week of toxic politics. The events of a couple of weeks ago, I've described as, you know, a Muppet show, frankly. But the fallout from dumping a sitting Prime Minister continues, with more women reporting bullying within the party. I had senators and ministers in tears, you know? That's how bad it was. One of my colleagues was in tears the whole day. South Australian Senator Lucy Gashuhi says she was intimidated by colleagues and is willing to name and shame them in Parliament. I will detail my experience not only with the PM's spill because this is a culture, this is a systematic kind of issue. Her colleague Julia Banks is bowing out of politics, blaming factional figures with mean-spirited grudges. Yet some in the party put her resignation down to the rough and tumble of politics. Well, I'm uh, frankly a little bit disgusted by that. I think that uh, it, you know, Julia Banks is no petal, she's no snowflake and she's no princess. The Minister for Women has given credence to the complaints, revealing some have tried to bully her unsuccessfully. Parliament can be a pretty robust place, but certainly there is behaviour that is outside of the accepted bounds. What we're seeing now and what's shone a spotlight, a torchlight, on bullying in politics is Liberal women politicians complaining about the treatment they have received within the Liberal Party. The man who triggered the turmoil of the leadership challenge, Peter Dutton, says he's not aware of any foul play. I think in these uh, times you get robust conversations between people. Uh, I, I'm not aware of uh, any facts where people have done that. As I say, I wouldn't condone it. We'll deal with uh, matters that, that uh, move on from those things that happened a couple of weeks ago. We'll deal with them as a team. The Prime Minister wants to heal the wounds of his riven party, but there's a risk those wounds will publicly reopen before he gets a chance to. Not only are female MPs threatening to call out the misdemeanours of their colleagues, others are encouraging them to do so. Henry Bellow, ABC News. Canberra.